Welcome back, everyone. Well, in honor of Veterans Day tomorrow, we sat down with a living World War II vet. You know, they are dying. We're losing them at, a, at an alarming rate. Yeah, the 100-year-old now lives in Myrtle Creek, Oregon, and he shared his amazing story with our photojournalist, Bill Cortez. My name is Dean Powell, and I was born in London, Oregon, 1915. I tell people I was born in London, and they said, you don't talk like it. Wasn't started very long, and they drafted me into the army. The last engagement we had was uh, I was in the mortar section, and uh, I fired the mortar all night long, or, and the Jap mortar landed right in the mortar that right next to me. Well, I jumped back in the cave. And, and he asked me if I was okay, and I said, well, it feels like half my head had blown off. Some shrapnel from that hit me in the cheek and the, my shoulder. I wasn't even going to the aid station about it, but the lieutenant said, you go, and that's an order. Besides the Purple Heart, Dean Powell was awarded the Philippine Liberation Medal with a Bronze Service Star. He also received the Good Conduct Medal. We all lived through it. It was a little fearful thing to know that you're going to go in and maybe not come back. Dean arrived back in Myrtle Creek in 1945, four and a half years after being drafted. The streets was completely empty, and my folks knew I was coming home about that time, but uh, there was nobody there to meet me. I was a little disappointed in that. There was no brass band there to welcome me home, but I was glad to get there. A year later, Dean built this house, started a family with his wife Josephine, to whom he was married for almost 60 years, until her death 10 years ago. I went to Guam, Lady, Gruma, Tokushika, Aishima, and Okinawa, and come home, ready to do it again. In Myrtle Creek, Oregon, Bill Cortez, Coin 6 News. Wow. Dean, uh, we thank you for your service, 100 years old. Yeah, and Dean will, in fact, be honored tomorrow. He's getting the, the welcome home ceremony that he deserves in Albany's Veterans Day Parade. 70 years later. Mm -hmm.